Hello guys and welcome to another HackerRank video. Today we're going to be solving arrays left rotation. Uh, so we're going to be left rotating this array by D units. So remember that each element is rotated one unit to the left, right? So if D is five, that means it's going to be five rotations. So we're given an array of five values here and then uh, D is going to be four. So we have to rotate this by four units. And if you guys have been permanent on my channel you guys will have seen that i posted a video that showed you guys how to do the right rotation and what we're going to be doing is using the same similar steps in different order to do for the left rotation pretty much these formulas are reused and if you've done rotations before like i said in the previous video it becomes a lot easier you see how the patterns work with these problems anyway what we're going to do is we're going to copy these values here and we're going to paste this on a uh, sideboard I'm going to do this, create a sticky note, and I'm going to paste this here. All right, so what we're going to do first is keep our D value. All right, so that's going to be 4. And then we're going to keep the size of the elements in our array. Well, when I say size, we're working with indexes. So the largest index here would be 4. So this is going to be 4, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to represent our array of numbers. I'm going to go ahead here and try to draw a pretty array. That don't look too good, but it'll work. All right, and what we're going to do is um, work through this. So I'm going to have one here, two here, three, four, and five. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and reverse segments of this array like we did with the circular um, array problem. And the first thing we want to do is we want to rotate from D to the size of the array. So obviously we have a four. So D is four and the size is four. So we can't really rotate one index. So we're just going to leave it that way. And then we're going to copy our values over and we're going to work through the next step. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here and do the same thing, and I'm going to have one, two, three, four, and five. So the next thing I want to do is we want to go from zero, right, to D minus one. So D minus one is three. So we're going to be here. All right. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and rotate this. So we're going to end up with this. So I'm going to go, so we're going to have our five here. All right. And then we need to rotate the rest. So we're going to have four, three, two, and one here. And then in this case here, what we want to do is rotate the entire thing from zero to size. All right, so here size is four. So you're gonna go ahead and rotate the rest of it. So you should have five, one, two, three, and four. If we go back to our problem, we should have five, one, two, three, and four, five, one, two, three, and four. All right, so with that said and done, let's go ahead here and uh, work this out. So what we need to do first is create a reverse method. So we're going to do static. Uh, void reverse. So I'm pretty much doing what I did with the last circular array problem. And we're going to take in the array uh, A and we're going to take in the indexes we need to swap. So I'm going to do uh, M and uh, M and N. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I, uh, check to see a while uh, M is less than. And this is a simple, you know, reverse using swapping. Uh, so we're going to use uh, int temp 
is going to equal to a uh, m and then a m is going to equal to a n and then um, a n is going to equal to temp and then we're just going to go ahead and um, increment the indexes or pointers however you want to call them all right and this is pretty much it so the next thing you want to do is account for rotating d so this is going to so d is going to equal to d um, mod a dot length okay all right so this is the fun part where we do the uh, rotations first so we're going to go ahead and reverse and we're gonna reverse from, so I'll do it, take an A, we're gonna reverse from D, and we need to keep a size variable. So I'm gonna do a final int uh, size here. So it's gonna to equal to A dot length minus one. So we're gonna go A, we're gonna do D and size then we want to go ahead and reverse take an a and we're going to go from zero to d minus one and then we're going to rotate the entire thing so we're going to do reverse take an a and we're going to go to zero all the way to size all right and once we're done with this we just need to go ahead and um, return a and this should be the left rotation, all right? So remember for the right uh, rotation, what we do is we flip this logic for the right rotation, and then for the left rotation, we flip the logic as well. So um, you end up with the same thing. So let's go ahead here and run this problem. And we can submit. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. I will see you guys in the next Hacker Rank problem.